Hey guys, Mr. Zigner here. We're going to take a quick look at creating a Google slide presentation that has built-in internal links. And this is for, of course, my students at school, but this could also be helpful for others if you just want to learn how to navigate around a slideshow. All right, let's get started. So I've opened up this Google slide presentation, and the first thing I'd like to do is just delete these pre-created text boxes. And here we go. We're going to add our own background. Oh, look at this. Gradient. I think I'm going to choose a gradient background. I love dark blue colors, so I'm going to put that one there. Great. Now I'd like for my students to add a shape. And this is going to be a rounded rectangle. And we can use up a lot of the real estate of this slide. But it'd be nice if we could change this background also instead of just the standard gray. So whatever you like that coordinates with your other background. Um, let's see here, how about like a, well, that's a little buttery. Let's see if we can, oh, I'm okay with that. Blue and gold. Mr. Zigner used to be in the Navy, so this will work. All right, so I think I'm gonna do my quick topic on, oh, Subaru vehicles. Uh, there we go, that, that'll work. So on top of this rounded rectangle, uh, which I'm gonna make sure I've got in the center, see those red lines popping up? If I can get it just right. Uh, did I lose the, there it is. Now I have both crosshair red lines. I know my box is in the center, and now we can go ahead and start adding our first text box. So I'm gonna click the text box right here. Drag, drag a long rectangle that fills up most of the top and here's going to be my title, uh, Subaru uh, Vehicles. All right, so one thing I'd like to do is center that. There we go. Might even um, make sure it's in the middle of that box. I know Subaru uses a uh, all capitals, and let's see if we can find a more boxy looking font because I know Subaru, Subaru's font is a little boxy. That looks pretty good. Let's increase the size. Let's try 48. Ah, so, well, no, that would work. Let's just stretch the uh, text box to fit it. Okay. Let's have a little bit of fun with this. Maybe make that bold. Maybe have a little bit of fun with the uh, vehicles. <laughs> yeah, sure, why not? That looks okay. I know Subaru also uses a lot of blues and I have my blue background so maybe we can change the color of my actual font also. Sure, there, that looks great. All right, we're off to a good start. Now, um, now I'm going to want to add another text box and this one is going to be for my sub, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, well, the pages that we'll, uh, we can link to from this main page. So this is going to be like the table of contents page and then we're going to link out to a few more pages that will appear over here. Alright, so let's see, what are some Subaru vehicles? Well, um, an Outback, uh, Crosstrek, um, and uh, we could throw in maybe, uh, what's their little sports car, the WRX? Alright, so I think I'm going to once again center these uh, both horizontally and vertically. Uh, maybe use that XO2 font again. Maybe even make it bold. Let's increase the size. That's significantly bigger. Let's see how that looks. Sure, sure. I um, was kind of liking the idea of the blue again. Let's see. Uh, oops, I think I moved the text box. Yeah, that's good. You know what, I'm gonna to try to match that. I think I used one level darker here. Oh, well maybe that was the same. Dark cornflower blue. And, oh no, that was all the way down. Okay, so I need to drop down one. There we go, I'm pretty happy with how that looks. Now eventually these three words will be my links to the other slides. But first I'd like to right click on that slide and we're gonna duplicate it a few times. All right, so now the reason for this, let me walk you through it. Now, this will be for the Outback, this first car. 
This one will be for the cross track, the middle one, and this one will be for the WRX. So these are my three pages I'll be looking out at in a few minutes. So I'm going to go to the second slide and get rid of these two words. Okay. Uh, maybe we'll move. Yeah, I guess I shouldn't have done the center. Let's move that to the top. Okay. So now this one will be for the cross track delete all this extra stuff and again we're gonna move that to the top great and this one will be for the WRX and once again moving it to the top great so we're looking pretty good all right all right so next step um, now that we have our Subaru vehicles here um, and our title of each of our three slides we're moving out to, it might be nice to actually start creating links to move around. So I'm going to come back to the main page and I'm going to click right there. And what we're going to do is we're going to link. So uh, I guess, well, actually, I guess I could have just clicked right here, link. And now, so where I want to link to is the slide that's in this presentation. Outback needs to jump to slide number two. So if I click on slides in this presentation, we choose slide two. Great. For a cross track, the cross track is going to be slide number three. So again, I click link. And, oh, I'm sorry. Let's go back here. And we want to click on link. Uh, we want to, you know, I need to make my screen a little bit smaller. There we go. Uh, slides in this presentation. And what was it? Slide number three is for the cross track. There we go. And finally, the WRX is slide number four. So again, I click link, slides in this presentation, and slide number four. Well, let's just test to see if I can jump to these three by going to present. All right, so if I click on Outback, there's the Outback page. Okay, let me go back. If I click on Crosstrek, great, it jumped us to the Crosstrek page. And WRX, it jumped us to the WRX page. Fantastic. Those first links are working. Again, all I did was highlight them. I clicked the link button, and I told it which slide I wanted it to jump to by going to slides in this presentation. All right. So now we need a, another link that takes us back to this home page, this first page. So let's build that in right now. So I'm going to create a new text box. Now we need to have a standard place to put this. How about maybe at the bottom right corner here? I'm going to type the word home. We can edit this a little bit, maybe make it bold, maybe make it red so it jumps out at us. Maybe a little bit bigger. Oops, that made it. A little too big for that box and we could move it over to the right side and that looks pretty good all right so this we're going to insert a link again so I'm highlighting it and we go to link and we want to go to the first slide so slide number one that's our home page all right so there we go now the neat thing I think I can do here, if I actually, um, if I right click on this slide, if I copy it, and then paste it, let's see if I can do paste here, there we go, paste, oh, it wants me to use control V for paste, oops, I didn't mean to do that, so control V, yeah, there it is, <laughs> okay, here we go. Uh, so we're here and control V and there we go. Let's try checking to see if we can bounce around through our slideshow. All right. So clicking on home. Okay. So Outback. Yep. I'm on the Outback page and back home. Click on Crosstrek. Yep. And back home. Click on WRX. Yes. I jumped to the WRX page and now I can go back home. All right. Well, we've got the links in there. All the navigation's done. So now all that's left is to just build out our slides, fill it with some details. So here, um, now I'm not going to spend forever on this, but 
I want a video not to be too long. Let me just search on Subaru.com for maybe an image. Oh, that's a pretty cool looking car. Um, I think my first slide was the, was it the Outback, I believe? So let me come to the Outback. All right. So I wonder if I can actually borrow. No, I don't have a copy for that image. Can I open image in a different page? No. All right. So uh, let's see here. Uh, maybe instead of Subaru's website, oh, gallery. I wonder if I can actually grab an image this way. So if I right click on it, okay, I've got copy image. Let's see if this works. And now, if I remember correctly, they wanted me to use Control V for paste. Hey, there we go. Let's just knock this picture down quite a bit so it fits. Another neat thing you can do, and this picture might actually allow me to do it, if I double click on the image, I can actually crop it. It creates these little black bars that I can drag in and crop the image down a little bit. There we go. When I'm happy, I just click somewhere else. All right, so we've got an image of an Outback. Maybe I can throw that, you know, right over here. Maybe right at the bottom of the text box. That seems like a good spot. All righty, now let's see if we can find some data about this Subaru Outback. I saw a neat image right here. Can I actually... Oh my goodness. Um, maybe I could just borrow some text. Is there something describing it? Oh, okay. Here's some interesting stuff. So, engineered to go anywhere. Or this stuff would be good. All right. So, I think I'm just going to grab this information. So, it's the Subaru Outback is engineered to go anywhere. So, I'm going to copy this text. Come back over here. Now, I'm, I'm going to try just uh, coming into the same text box that has the Outback come down a line and hit control V and see if it'll paint all that. Uh, I'm sorry, paste. All right. The only issue is um, I seem to have gotten the formatting from the website. So I'm going to hit paste without formatting. Uh, no, it won't let me do that. Okay. Um, hmm. So it looks like I have to do this a different way. I need to get rid of all this formatting. So if I come to format, um, I can clear all formatting. There we go. All righty. Uh, I also unformatted my word Outback. Now, that's kind of a pain, but let's see. If I recall correctly, um, I think I know what I had done with it. So let's, first of all, how about we center everything and maybe even center it vertically. There we go. I think Outback was just a little bit bigger. Let's try 36. And I think I was using this XO2 and bold. That looks great. And I think I even made it blue. Let's see if I don't make this mistake in the future. There we go. Um, you know what? These bullet points don't look as nice uh, center aligned. So I think I'm going to undo that and see if this looks better. Yeah, yeah, I like that a lot. Okay, maybe I could make this line engineered to go anywhere a little darker. Oops, I think I just moved that box. There we go. And how's that slide looking? So I've got an image. I might even see if we can find a better spot for that image. Maybe about halfway down. I'm pretty happy with how that looks. And so we would go on with the other slides. Now I would start all over with the cross track. You know, bringing bring in an image of the cross track. Um, bring in some information about the cross track. So this. Uh, particular slideshow we're creating. The big thing that I wanted to get through for my students was creating a slideshow that has the links. The big idea here was to move around using our links. So now once again, if I go to present, let's see if we can jump around. So I can go back to the home slide. I can go to see the Outback. Back home, I can click and go to the cross track page. And of course, I would have to go back and add an image of the cross track and some information about the cross track. Back home, click on the WRX page. Again, I can click on, uh, rather, I could insert a picture and some information about the WRX. But the big deal, the number one issue that I wanted to see my students incorporate into the slideshow was 
the use of these links. So now it's almost like jumping around on a website. Now you can, we're back on the home page of a website and now I'm jumping to another page using the link. All right. Again, I could have made, spent more time making this prettier, but you get the idea. And this is what I'm looking for for my students also. So if you follow these, these directions, you're going to be in great shape for this particular assignment. Let me get out of the presentation mode and we're going to call it right there. Thanks for joining me today and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.